We are going to learn how to check the trouble codes on an ABS light. Well, if your car, an OBD2 car, uh, has the ABS light on, it could be many, many different problems in the system. It's pretty complicated. Uh, if you don't want to spend the money on getting one of the readers, uh, they can be quite costly. Or having a, a shop check it for you, which can also be quite costly. I think the last time I was quoted at 80 bucks to do so. I have a quick down and dirty uh, unscientific way to to uh, get the codes for you. So we have a in a 2000 uh, Zuzu Trooper, which is the same model pretty much from like 96 until 2002, I think. Uh, but this will work on most OBD2 cars. Uh, we we take a a little piece of uh, wire or uh, other scientific tool, uh, such as my paper clip, to short out two connectors on the OBD2 port and that'll send the code or excuse me the computer into a code uh, diagnostic mode and it'll start uh, blinking and it'll feed you out some numbers just like the old days with OBD1 so let's get to it we're gonna go on over to the port mine is over here we grab a flashlight so we're gonna short out numbers 4 and 12 4 and 12 and the easiest way to figure out which one is 4 and which one is 12 is you look at it and you count from right to left on the bottom 4 over so 1 2 3 4 or 1 2 3 4 and you just it's the top one and the bottom one Wow, that flashlight just popped right out of my hands. Well, anyway, we're looking at number four and number 12, which is that guy and that guy. I hope you can see that okay. So, all right, let's turn the ignition on. We don't need to start the engine. So I have an engine code and an ABS code, and I need to smog this because I'm in Southern California, and I need to get it smogged pretty soon, otherwise I'll be in violation. Can't register. So, one, one, two. That lets you know code 12 means you're in diagnostic mode. It'll do that three times, and then it'll roll into your code. All right, we're on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Now I'll repeat three times just so you got it. Once it's done rolling through all the codes, it'll go back to one, two. It could take a little while if you have too many codes. I fortunately only have one. There's one and one, two. Okay, let's take out our tool. And I'll take you over to the spreadsheet that I made to tell you about all the different diagnostic codes. And these are general for everybody. Uh, so up at the top left, it's 12 or one, two. And that'll let you know it's in diagnostic mode. After that, it's whatever we got here uh, so for me it's 43 so for me it is FR or front right open isolation solenoid or shorted ECU output and or also number 43 front right shorted isolation solenoid or open ECU output so that kinda gives me an area to go start troubleshooting kinda know where to go from here and if you're a handy mechanic you'll at least know where to begin. So if, if you want to pause the video and look at your code, this will get you going. So good luck to you.